Welcome to JBODs, and today we are going to be playing Height the Time Quest. This is part four in the Let's Play installment, and today we are going to continue with the Castle Secrets and figure out what we are going to see. So, let's play. Billy is still without me. It might be a while before we can actually, uh, record with each other again, but I don't know. Summertime's happening soon, so we might actually be able to see each other more, which would be cool. Alright. This is exactly where we left off last time. Um, here's a cute little room. You don't actually get to do anything in this room. It's just I guess for decoration, and there's a cute little cat. Hi, cat. Um, I don't think you can really interact with this cat. No, I always used to, but you never really can. But, oh, whoops, whoops. Okay. Those two. There's a little girl. There's another kitten sleeping. Well now, a foreign night. Thank you. You should leave here. There's war in the air and I don't like it. The monastery's definitely going to attempt something. I've seen Grand Slack, the king's new guard. I wouldn't like to have to face him. Although, given his height, if you jumped on him, he'd fall over backwards without a doubt. Ha! <laughs> How many does that make? That makes eight. Uh, is there any back here? Ooh, what's that? lake river moat thing going on outside and then there's another small stream happening here so up two nine out of ten and you know um it would be not cool if you could enter the castle's gates through here but um or get to the keep i should say through there but you can't so what do you want, little boy? Come here. Oh no! Roger. Another night! They're everywhere! You're not very original. When I grow up, I'm going to be a dangerous almachus, uh, alcibis, uh, amethyst, uh, uh, magician. And I'll have a great, big, huge laboratory. That dream, little kid. You live it. You live it like nobody else has lived it before. Crap. Okay. Um. Sorry about that. Let's go see why the water from the well doesn't taste very good.
actually, it would be a waste of my time to kill all these bats right now. They'll only respawn. Killed it. Probably gonna get those. there was a way to skip that little scene. Unfortunately, though. That was just never meant to be. And I also apologize if the quality of the video is a little bit, you know, subpar, but, uh, Perhaps is going at about 30 FPS right now, instead of, um, oh, totally skipped that. It's going about, um, oh wait, no, what am I talking about? It's going regular speed, Re regular speed, regular rate, flashing between 20 and 30, so. Now it's back down to the team. Anyway, let's get back to this uh, quest. I don't think that I'll reach it, but that's okay. Because go over here and we press the switch and see what does this button do. Oh, okay. Nope. nope, not today. Oh, oh my god. Alright. in the woods, they would totally be after me right now. The water from the well is coming from somewhere. Now we just gotta continue to see where it's coming from. Come on! Oh, God. Alright, well, I'll skip that for right now. It's just a green move. Once 
do his face change. There we go. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I was so totally wrong. Those are plastics. Oh, well, now I have to go see the little thing again. Last time I'm going up this thing in this video, I promise. Too late. Alright, now where is this coming from? Water flowing from that. The fortress. We are now in the fortress in the era of Task Him First. I gotta be careful because these guards are totally gonna come after me and try to destroy me. Because Pipe's armor is from a time they will never know. Now, where am I? Hi. Hi. Oh. And it hit on me. also use those exploding barrels to your advantage. If you've got a lot of enemies on your tail, you can uh, just hit the barrels and they'll explode. And they will inflict damage on the um, on your enemies. And those switches, you know, it, it'll seem like I'm doing everything in this game automatically. Just, you know, kind of by muscle memory. And I really don't want to sound like I'm bragging, but it kind of is muscle memory. Because I know this game, like... I just, I know it very well. Anyway. There are guards around here. There's an archer up there, and there's an archer down there. And you just saw the arrow fly. And... There were two switches. Or levers, I should say. Lever lever, whichever, however you pronounce it. Oh, he shot me. Cool. Well, I got him. And more plastics. And with this lever lever, I'm gonna have to decide on how I'm gonna say that. I can't remember how they say it in this game. I think they say lee, no, they say lever? I don't know. It was just one or the other that I got to know, and I'm not going to have enough to kill this guy. That's fine. Yeah, definitely not going to have anywhere near enough to kill him. Well, and that's another thing. I say kill. No one in this game actually dies. They're always knocked unconscious, and they fade away. That's always what happens. But now, we are finally in the keep. And, um, where am I getting to? I'm getting to the, uh, the 11 minute mark, I think. This is what it says on my stopwatch. Um, 
Where? Oh, crap. Yeah, see, it damages me as well. It's down here. Weapons? Oh, in this game, I don't really know about other, like, minute details in other games, such as what I'm about to point out, but this game had, was one of the first times I had encountered, you know, a maximum capacity with inventory items, and if you, let's say I had 10 out of 10 green herbs, and I was going to pick up an 11th, well, Pipe wouldn't take it in his inventory and the item just wasn't added. That's not how it would work. What would happen is Hype would take the item and then put it back in the chest because it wouldn't fit. And I didn't see something like that happen again until... Okay, well, it's probably, you know... 1999 to... 2006 when Twilight Princess came out. I'm, I feel like, and I'm pretty sure games before that had that feature, but Twilight Princess was the first, Z The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess is the first game that had the same kind of feature. But, I digress. Look, we're in the throne room. That, I believe, is King Taskan the First. Aha! You see, you bunch of incompetent fools! It was easy! You don't need to be clever to trap a spy! I've managed it! Yes, yes Your Majesty! Majesty. Yes, Your Majesty! Bruh. What have I done to be landing with a bunch of useless nincompoops like you? All it took was a little ambush, and there you go. Cornered! Yes, your splendiferousness. You're right, your magnificence. You are the mightiest, your sumptuousness. You say I'm the mightiest? If you'd been a bit sharper, the monastery spies would never have stolen my royal jewel and my sword. Now, be vigilant! I do not want to lose the first dragon's breastplate. One more mistake and I'll execute you myself. With a spoon, so that it takes longer. Yes, yes Your Majesty. Majesty. Sorry, Sorry Majesty. Your Majesty. It, it won't, won't happen, happen again. again. It won't happen again. I hope so for your sake. As for you, you're going to be sorry you ever set foot in my fortress. Ah! You're going to pay the price for all of the others. The monastery's already stolen my royal jewel, but that is the last of it. I still have some symbols of power that command respect. My new god, Granslack, will protect them. I'd like to see anyone try and steal them with him around. <laughs> <laughs> Seize him! Take his weapons and throw him in the dungeons with the other imbecile from the monastery! Believe me, Sir Knight, no one makes a fool of me. No one! Hi, we're um, re-recording here, and I say we, Templar and I just mean I, since there are no more than just one of me. Royal jewel as well. But my game crashed, prisoner, and now moment, I have to re-record, so I'm just going to go from this the royal point on. Jewels in our monastery now. My friends have managed to get it. The monastery deserves to have the jewel, and one day we'll have the first dragon's breastplate as well. That huge great Grand Slack's protecting it at the moment. 
But I'm going to make him lose his balance and fall over backwards. He'll be so humiliated. Shut up in there! There's no point making plans. You're gonna be executed imminent, 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 imminent soon. At this very moment, uh, I am constructing a cartwheel, which I'm sure you'll find very comfortable. <laughs> We might be able to get his keys. He always has them on his belt. And I know where your weapons are. The executioner keeps them close by him in the torture chamber. This... All right, this is exactly where my game crashed last time. And if you notice that lectern right there, that, you know, is a safe spot. So um, just in case the game crashes again, I'm going to say right here. But yeah, this game basically taught me how to read, but they used words that were way over my head, like execution and torture chamber, even though that's two words. Um, you know, I didn't know that these things were what they are. I just thought it was something that happened in the game. Of course, I was like five, but, um, you know, as I grew older, I found out what these things meant, and... I'm really surprised that, you know, for a children's game, so to speak, children's game, you find all these terms in there. But, you know, whatever. It's a great game, regardless. Whoops. Alright, so tune in next time to uh, see the next episode of the Hype the Time Quest Let's Play. Thanks for watching.